Welcome to Boater Secret Weapon. I'm your host, Captain Matt. Today we're talking seven tips for boating at night. One of my favorite times to be on the water is in the evening as the sun's going down um, through the night. If it's 4th of July, checking out the fireworks, it is just, to me, it is a great time, but it can be nerve-wracking. There are some things that are different about being on the water at night that you need to be aware of. Number one is it gets cold. Even in the heat of summer, you've been on the water, you got a little bit of sunburn going on, maybe the breeze picks up a little bit and the temperature drops significantly when you're on the water. Bring your sweatshirts, bring your blankets, bring some dry towels that you can kind of cover up with if you need to. If it's really chilly out, maybe even a hat and uh, and some gloves if you're if you're out in the fall or, or even in the winter time. Your speed. At nighttime, your visibility is significantly limited. Obviously, you can't see as well because there's no light, and you have to just manage by watching the lights of other boaters. Um, so keep your speed way down for the area. Some some bodies of water may even have a speed limit. Um, for me, I'm usually just up on plane and uh, and maybe a touch more if the boat needs it. But don't go fast. You're at nighttime. Don't be in a hurry. Go nice and slow um, so that you have time to react. The other thing is you need to know the navigation, the stern light, the masthead light, the anchor light, what they mean um, and what to do. As you're approaching a boat, you're going to pass port to port, left side to left side like you do during the day, which means you're going to be red to red passing safely in the night if it's a if it's a head-on situation. You also need to understand if you see a green and a white light go by that if you're up here, they're going by this way. If they're going by this way, you're going to see a red and a white. And if you see both red and green, what does that tell you? It tells you that they're coming head on at you. If you only see a white light, it means that you're behind somebody and you're coming up on them from behind. If you're gaining distance, it means you're going faster than they are. Having that just sort of relative knowledge of where you are relative to other boats is going to be valuable. And with your slower speed, you'll have plenty of time to react to make sure there's not a dangerous incident. The boats look beautiful with all the LED lights that they have on inside the center consoles and the pontoons and everything nowadays. Just understand that dramatically reduces your visibility out in front of you where it's important to see. Now, if you're sitting at anchor and you're just hanging out, Okay, great. If you're at the dock, they're great. But if you're underway, those lights are causing a danger to you and to other boaters because you won't be able to see them because all the lights in the boat, which means that you can't see very well out of the boat. Same thing goes with your cockpit. If you have, uh, you know, your screens, even some radios to me are, are, are ruin my night vision. And what I'll do is I'll take one of those towels or one of those blankets or even my T-shirt and I'll put it over those screens to cover them up if they don't have a dimmer. If they're your chart plotter or navigation and you need them, they, they're going to help you be safer. Go ahead and make sure they're in night mode and their their light is turned way, way, way down. You don't need them to be very bright to be able to use them and see what you need. But cover up as much of that light. Get it dimmed down as much as possible so that you can use your night vision to see out into the water where it really matters. The other thing that I like, and I, I wish boat manufacturers would do more of this, is those red lights, if you use red lights, dim your dim your colors to red, that's going to save your night vision. The The red color doesn't ruin your night vision like the other rate colors in the spectrum do. So if you can put that to put your, your radio to the red background, put your LED lights, if you really got to have them on, put them on the red color and that will keep your keep your vision slightly better. OK, now, because you can't see as well, you've got to be more diligent in your lookout. And you've got to use your ears. You can hear boats coming up. You can hear and, and see the waves and say, oh, there must be a boat up in that direction because I can see their waves. Um, I can hear the engine running. I can hear their music. Keep your music down a little bit so you can hear. Hey, I like to have fun when I'm on the water. You've got to be safe and you're going to have fun. Find that right balance. Don't have your radio cranked up as loud as it can go. Don't pay attention to the people in the boat. If you're running the boat, you really have to be diligent about looking out. If you have docking lights on your boat, understand those are not headlights. Docking lights can really cause danger for yourself and other boaters because it causes night blindness. If you think about it, if you've ever had a flashlight shined in your eyeballs, what happens? You can't see anything. If you've ever been on the road and uh, a car pulls up to you at night with their lights on, you have no idea what's behind those lights because it's so bright in your face that you can't see anything past them. Same thing on the water. So use your docking lights if you need to see something. 
flip them on, turn them right back off, or I like a handheld spotlight. Go ahead and spot the water if you're looking for logs and debris in the lake or you're, you know, you're in a, a tough navigation, navigating situation. That handheld spotlight is perfect to, to kind of spot looking for buoys, um, looking for dangers in the water, but you're aiming it down towards the water and not straight out like your docking lights are, are facing. Next is know the water that you're on. If you're, if you're in a, on the coast and there are shipping lanes, stay well away of those shipping lanes. Hey, those, those ships, they have their lights on, um, but they're so big. They're so tall that if you get too close to them and you haven't seen them, it's going to be pitch dark. And you're going to think it's dark, but it's actually a slow moving ship. Just stay well clear of those shipping lanes and, um, and make sure that you have a really good lookout. You know where the shoal areas are. You know where the dangers are. You're familiar with the water. So if it's the first time I'm out on that water, I'm probably not going to go out at night until I get a sense of the lay of the land, where I may want to go in the evening or nighttime. And then I'd be comfortable. If you're on a lake, Hey, make sure that you have a feel for the lake and you have a map of the lake. Um, whether it's digital or a, an actual map, because everything looks different at night. The I, I've been on, on the Lake of the Ozarks. I grew up on it since I was five years old. We would go there every year for vacation. I've put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours on that lake. When I first started driving on my own at night, there were several times where I almost made the wrong turn because I thought, I was going slower than I normally do, and I thought, oh, I've got to be at the spot where this is my this is my um, channel that I'm going to take. In reality, it, you're going slower, things look different, and you can easily make a mistake and you can get um, get lost. So pay attention. Make sure you know your waterways. Make sure you know where the hazards are as well. If you want some other boating safety information, if you're a newer boater, check out the Boater Boot Camp. It's a great value. It's totally free. Boaterbootcamp.com. You'll love it. Um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of new boaters have already told me uh, it's fantastic. If you want to get better at handling your boat, the best boat captain on the water is a fantastic program. And if you're looking to buy a boat, Boat Buyer's Toolkit, totally free. Boatbuyersecretweapon.com slash toolkit. If you like the video, hit that like button. Remember, life truly is better on a boat.